Um, I feel like when I've spent a lot of time on the front of a quilt, I want it to be just as pretty and pleasing on the back as on the front. So you can pretend these are my two lengths of fabric for my quilt bag. Um, I see a lot of people just sew these together and this is the pattern I would end up with. That bothers me. <laughs> so I came up with a technique um, to match these backs. I've taken one of the lengths and folded under an equal amount the entire length. It can be an inch and a half, two inches. You wanna make sure you're far enough away from the selvage that it's not gonna be included in your quilt. This uh, tape you see on here is Steamaseam Light. It comes in quarter inch and half inch, and I've used the quarter inch. It comes on a roll. It has paper on one side, and the sticky fusible web is here, and it is sticky, it's tacky. So I laid this tape down as close to the fold as I could get it, and pressed it down, tore it off at the end, and then used an iron to fuse it to the back. When I peel this paper off, it's still tacky. So I can, I'm gonna pull this over where the pattern matches and you can see. Now this is what I would like my quilt back to look like. Here's, here's where the seam will be. And this tape is tacky, so I'm just gonna press it down, take it to the ironing board and fuse it. Then you can see the crease where I fold it is where you will sew and you'll have a perfectly matched back. You can trim this off to about half an inch. You do have a little waste, but to me, I think it's worth it to get that matched perfect back.